Hello everyone, welcome back to Positron Plays Hand of Fate, which is now apparently picking up my controller as an actual PS4 controller. Weird. Have you learned nothing? Nope, definitely haven't. I have learned that I am a sucker. Alright, so we're gonna be fighting the dealer again. Go. Leave. There is no joy for you here. I don't know what makes the encounters cycle like that. It must be just something to do with um just not having enough, or replacing some of the ones you've already finished. I don't remember what Demon Trader 2 was, but I remember it was kind of a pain. I will dump out some of these. Uh, I don't think I don't like the Apprentice. I mean, you don't need Holy Forge of Metal Ore anymore. I mean, it's nice, but it's uh, just a... Uh... You know what? Nymphs of Sweetwoods? That's the likely way to get me killed, so... I don't think it's actually a bad card. I think it's actually pretty damn good, to be honest. But uh, I feel like it's a card that I will forget to use properly and thus cause myself problems. Oh, it's so cool that it picks up my PS4 controller now. That must have been a patch recently. And we'll check our equipment here. Uh, what was Blood Crescent again? Killing blow drains health, right? I think we're probably pretty good on gear here. Oh no, here we go. There are some new ones that I wanted to get in. And um, I do like mage gloves. That's always going to be in, I think. Boy, there's so many rings. One of these times I'm actually going to remember what all of these do. What's Ring of Enlightenment? Ah, oh, that's right. What was that one that, um... Yeah, Plunder's Ring is really good. Master Ring is actually also pretty good. Guildmaster's Ring? Mmm, that one's okay. So actually, I feel like the game is a little loud. I hope that's not actually the case. Um, Trader's Ring... Okay, what's Ring of Peace? We're probably not going to have any blessings. Uh, that's going to be important. That one's okay. Bashing Ring, I don't think we want. Mercenary Contract, I figured out, is kind of good. Um... Boy, there's a lot of these spells we haven't gotten to use yet. What was Assassin's Greed? Rant's Gold, Hag's Wraps. Mmm, those are okay. Healing Cap. Double healing is good. Yeah, there's just, we have a lot of good equipment now. Oh, Shield Breaker I don't really like. That should be good. Alright, let's get going here. That was 10 health per curse cards there. Simply brutal. I appreciate your ingenuity. Extra damage from ranged attacks, that's actually awful. This particular challenge. We are all merely pieces upon the board. The circle repeats without end. Ah, traitor's ring. There we go. Does the rook understand the oblivion that engulfs it when it is placed back in the box? Does the king understand that he truly rules over nothing? So I'm going this way first just because, you know, there's extra gold here. Um, we definitely want to try to remove that curse if possible. Um... I don't remember what happens if we offer to help, but we're going to demand payment again. Seven gold. I'm sure you're grateful for that. I wonder if it makes this uh, this more difficult. I get the feeling it does. I think it's the second card. No, but it's not a huge failure, so it's fine. Two of dust, that's me a super easy encounter.
And of course we have that initial load. It's my first recording of the day of this. Oh, that's really weird. That showed that again. Yeah, that must have been a patch. Wonder if there are any other changes. Combat actually feels ever so slightly smoother, but I may just be imagining things. Ah, devilish traps. Here we go. I never put much stock on mysterious voices. Nightmare time. Myself. I like the mystery music that goes with this too. Uh, oh, jeez. I don't see the exit yet either, which is a little problematic. Oh no, it's a dead end. Ha 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 ha. I didn't know it would do that to you. Oh, that's kind of wild. Man, these encounters are great. There's so many variations of this. Ah, uh, yeah, I tried to go a little too fast there. Oh, there we go. There's the door. I'm usually looking for a ladder. I forget that some of the exits are doors on this one. Hopefully this is the exit. It is. Okay, good. Desert Cult is down there, unfortunately, but no, we're certainly not going to travel like six spaces just for that. A thing that cannot be. Ooh, two monster cards in here. Queen of Plague and the Six of Plague. That's actually a pretty difficult encounter. I think the, the Queen gets some buffs to her rats, or vice versa. Oh, it's got this crazy thing, too. And we still get that curse take more damage from raised attacks, which is terrifying. Ah, that's right, yeah, it does the poison. Fortunately, her ranged attacks don't do a lot of damage. They just um, kind of trip us up a bit. Yeah, it does that pull. And she kicks us. So we gotta start uh, taking out some of these units, because this is getting ugly. Taking a lot of damage. Oh, look out. Shoot, I'm, I'm really low on- this is a really hard encounter this early. This is- I'm probably gonna die right here, and if so, we'll just start- yeah, man, that's a- Really, really hard encounter when you just have base equipment. That's basically the boss fight from a previous level, and that's nuts. Well, we'll definitely start again here. I'm afraid that is where this round ends. Some other time, perhaps. So again, we'll just start right back up. Again, you are a fool. He's getting pretty cocky. Until now, I have shown compassion. You would be best to test me no further. Let's see what ring we get this time. It's unfortunate because the trader's ring we got is actually pretty good for keeping us with food. We got Arcane Frailty Another again. That's a bummer. Guardian Angel is. Oh, we can't get it though. Ring of Poverty. Oh, I didn't realize that was in my deck. Mm, I don't really like that card actually. That's okay. Wow, we already found the exit, huh? Um. I think it's actually worth exploring this floor, to be honest. I'm sure you'll leave this one in time. Especially because Mr. Lionel is here. A temperament for friends, even in the animal kingdom. And we will definitely do this. It's actually really far away, though. I hope we can make it there. Uh, we'll give him a piece of food, and we get food. 
So this will actually really help with um, our traveling on this level. Eh, three food, that's okay. Where we entered. Yours remain, so we can get double heavy burden here. I mean, we might as well try it. Really? Is that what you're going to do? Be curious to see where it shows up. More than watching your attempt to wriggle away from bad. Okay, luck. so we did make it there without the heavy burden, and the next one will be really easy to get to. So we get a piece of gear here. Oh, we get to choose uh, the arrow cutter, the berserker armor, the holy. What was the holy ring? I never liked Five health from myself. undead. Dispatch them to their rightful place. Berserker armor does more damage when you get hit, right? And arrow Life cutter might actually be important. Fury, I've found. Yeah, since we're weak against ranged attacks, I think that's going to be pretty critical. I think we have to return this in order to lose the heavy burden, so... We're going to draw two blessings, which is unfortunately just a total Very waste. Nice indeed. That's really weird, my- oh. Just lost focus in my window there. Yeah, that's, this is really weird with the way the... The touchpad for inventory now. Wonder if I can rebind that real quick. Apologies for this. Um... Oops. Oh, now I've done it. Well, that's okay. <laughs> Oh, we're back to 360 control things, but yeah, it was the touchpad for inventory, which is really weirding me out. Certainly. Infected rings. Ooh, new take five damage for every ring in their position. That's actually brutal. Every card drawn from your thoughts and your memories. Every card tainted by your view. Oh, the priest the can uncurse, your right? Single-minded purpose. E curse, the remove curse. Of purpose that also, I wonder if you can hear the vacuum in the hallway in the background of my apartment building. I hope not. And if you can, I humbly apologize. Alright, so it only costs 15 to get rid of uh, Arcane Frailty. So let's just do that. Let's just get rid of that right away. Um, I would like to dump Infected Rings too. I just don't think that's going to happen. Ring of Poverty is kind of awful. Unfortunately, we're kind of stuck with it, too. I mean, we would get plus three max health. That's just not good. Let's try to buy some food, since we're not going to get rid of that other ring right now. Ah, the Maiden. So we don't want a blessing here, so we'll take supplies. Two food gain cards, this is actually really good. So we gotta eat food there. Let me get the devilish traps again. Oh, I'm, <laughs> I'm super distracted by the noise in my hallway. There we go. Good, <laughs> we get devilish traps again. All right, try to be a little more careful this time. Ah, so we got the foresty one. This one isn't too bad, but there definitely are, yeah, arrow traps that I'm usually forgetful about. Oh, the, oh dear. Go this way. There's another arrow trap here, I think. 
and a bunch here. There we go. Actually, I didn't take any damage on that one. It was pretty good. Kind of impressed myself, to be honest. And here's the exit. A voyage across the ocean. So it'll take, if we find another priest, it'll take like 38 gold, I think it was, for that. All food gain is turned to gold. Player eats gold instead of food. Uh, this is kind of... Oh, man, now we really can't sell the Ring of Poverty. Um, this actually works out fairly well. Nor are you the first to play. I do not expect we will be the last. This works out fairly well with being able to pick up gold. The problem is just that it makes purchases very uh, risky. Uh, where is the exit on this one? Um, the other thing is... Oh my god. Let's see if I can sneak through here. Oh, that's bad. Lost my train of thought here. Um... The other thing is we're not going to be able to actually get rid of those curses now because it'll cost us a lot of food to do so. Or, essentially food. Yeah, we'll check out the shop. Um, I'm almost tempted to sell off some rings. Not the Ring of Poverty, of course, but sell off other rings just to... Uh, Lighten the burden. I don't really like they're pretty good though. They're all kind of really beneficial. What do we have available here. Anything cheap? Mmm, the rat cleaver would be really good. We just can't really afford it. Healer's ring would hmm. It would essentially Reduce our food consumption. Yeah, let's try that. You think that will help you? And we don't want to buy food, of course. Just a bad conversion rate. Yeah. So we'll. So it only costs us four. To travel now, essentially, and there's no reason not to go get that gold. We'll come out ahead very slightly. One cannot hope to find adventure without a little delving now. And this is a new encounter, anyway. On their foolishness. In a busy town, you meet three disheveled soldiers. We get drunk last night. One of them explains and gambled away all our gold and our helmets. Another joins in. Trade food for any helmets you have. Um. Yeah. Give us some food. I mean, the food is kind of, you know, whatever. Because it's just gold. Soldiers pass the helmet around. He's trying now. It's a strange looking thing, but I guess it'll do the job. Have you another? Oh, man. We don't have... Oh. Soldiers turn to leave. One of them remarks, leave that old thing behind. Take this weapon. It's my spare. Oh, I get the huge hammer. That's actually really nice. Unfortunately, we didn't get the token because we didn't have two helmets, but that's a pretty good encounter. Uh, it seems entirely safe and it's just beneficial. All sorts of terrible things live in caves. Are you sure? In every combat, the last enemy alive can no longer be stunned or interrupted. That's not so bad. Usually when we get to the last enemy, I'm just brute forcing them anyway. You can hope that, as each card is unveiled, as each new concept is explored, that we learn something about ourselves. Or something about you, at least. There's only the three goblins here, so this shouldn't be too bad. In fact, they can't damage us. It's just going to be the traps in the forest. We are taking 20 damage per floor, though, which is kind of terrifying. Oh, they took our hammer. So we'll actually gain a little bit of uh, food here in terms of gold, which is nice. Hopefully the conversion pans out. Gotta watch out for these traps, though. I'm not actually sure how much we came in here with to know if, how well we're doing. Oh man, he keeps going back and forth over these traps. There we go. 
Yeah, I think we, we came out ahead there. And we got our hammer back, thankfully. Ah, Battle of Brooktop. I don't remember. This gives us equipment, I think, and it is not too bad. Do not think you may face me without defeating the Oh, fight boy. Do I want to fight the King of Scales? I mean, I guess if we can take out his minions, the King itself wasn't so bad. It was just the fact that we couldn't kill any minions before him. That's kind of brutal, though. I don't know why it's, it's coming up with that control scheme so often now. And he did actually come with units. You know what I'm gonna do here? Get at our arrow cutter rating. And what does this do? It's like a force explosion? Yeah, that's gonna help a lot, actually. I'll have to make sure to keep this up. And try to take out the king as fast as possible. Oh, man, I'm getting brutalized. Oh, there's traps in here, too. No wonder. Yeah. <laughs> That's an incredibly difficult encounter. Man. Well, we did get some... Embrace of death. We did get a coin the there, didn't we? Oh, no, we didn't actually, because I only had one helmet. Life. Nuts. All right, well, that'll do it for this episode. Eh, we tried. Um, so next time, we'll go up against the dealer again. I'm going to beat him at some point. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, click like. It helps out a lot. Subscribe if you want to see more. See you soon.